my talk has been very simplified by my all the previous speaker because they have talked about the drugs in secondary prevention now i will discuss about all the drugs what about in primary prevention as you know i came from the city of the lord mahakal mahakal is a seat of the first third jyotirling south faces jyotirling in india my talk will be contained in the same way as you all know the cardiovascular disease is a major cause of death and disability among the people with diabetes coronary disease has been reported to occur two three disorder or two to three decade earlier in diabetes subject is opposed to non diabetic patients diabetes mellitus is a general confer with two fold excess risk of vascular outcome whether it is a cardiovascular or a ischemic or a vascular death independent of other risk factor and we all know this slide and this is the important slide in all diabetic patients who are in between 40 to 75 years age to receive moderate dose of statins all patients who are having ldl more than 180 to do statins beside all these things we to calculate the risk factor risk score and it is more than 7 7.5 to 20 they should receive statins but recent things what about the coronary calcium score in ct ngo if it is more than more than 100 then should they should also receive of moderate size statins irrespective of risk score or a diabetes and this is the common slide we are seeing aspirin bp blood pressure statin cigarette diet sgl2 inhibitor this is the new things this come in last 3 3 years diabetes with other diseases risk factor requiring additional glucose lowering sgl2 or glp1 reasonable regarding aspirin low dose aspirin regular aspirin what about the advantage of low dose aspirin is platelet activation reduce the platelet activation and gi production what about patients who are having regular aspirin they reduce the inflammation so low dose aspirin is as good for platelet reducing the platelet activation what to aspirin for a primary prevention in cardiovascular and diabetes ada 21 22 23 says aspirin therapy may be considered as a primary prevention in those with diabetes who are at increased risk of cardiovascular risk after a comprehensive discussion with the patients on the benefit versus the comparable increased risk of bleeding so this is very important you have to compare risk of bleeding and reduce the cardiovascular risk same thing european guideline says in patient with diabetes mellitus or high risk of cvd risk low dose aspirin may be considered for a primary prevention in the absence of clear contraindication take it this thing but this is again slide is very important as the risk is increases the chances of bleeding is risk increases so if low risk is there chances of bleeding is also raised so we have to take care of this slide we all know we have got a guideline for cvd prevention do not consider a mechanism related biomarker for aspirin for blood pressure high anti hypertensive we have measured the blood pressure for statins we have got to measure the ldlc for aspirin nothing is there only we have to give is on the treat or atherosclerosis the aspirin for prevention of cardiovascular risk mi all cause of death ischemic attack treatment ischemic attack but bleeding risk we have to consider aspirin for a primary prevention reduce the non fatal ischemic pain but significantly the non fatal bleeding and when to give the aspirin this is the just individual approach aspirin treatment should be considered only when the cv risk is high and bleeding is risk is high bleeding risk is also high taking the consideration so if the score is more than 20% you have to give the aspirin but if the score is less not to give now about statins in primary prevention still it is true noble two noble urethrists dr goldstein dr brown 
article in 2015, one of the best update article, I'll repeat till today. LDA, ideally, LDL lowering therapy should be initiated before atherosclerotic plaque develop, or at, at least before they develop their most threatening. All patients who are having atherosclerotic problem should get statins. Currently, we base our decision on LDL lowering on factors such as absolute level of LDL, presence of other risk factor, family history of early CAD, the future may be able to use genetic polymorphism that render arteries susceptible or resistant to LDL entry and susceptible or resistant to insurance. This of article of 2015 says the statin should be given for primary prevention all. Key reason for continuing and stopping the statins, prevention of the heart attack, stroke was the main reason to take the statin despite the symptoms. Many patients are bothered by their side effect and stop the medication. Bothered by side effect, cannot tolerate the side effect, all from 6 to 10 percent. Clinical use of statins, we all know clinical atherosclerosis, abdominal aortic aneurysm, diabetes mellitus, chronic kidney disease, more than 3 1 durations, less GFR, less than 30, more than 50 years of age, LDL reduction. LDL is more than 130. Statins for primary prevention in CVS in the cholesterol treatment trialist meta analysis of individual participant data from more than 170,000 particip participants in 26 trial. Statin versus control or more or less intensive statin. They say each one more reduction of LDA statin, more statin reduce major vascular event. Or any stroke coronary vasculation by 22 percent, major coronary event by 23 percent, death by 22, 20 percent, and 70 percent, and total mortality by 10 years. In those without history of vascular disease, even statin therapy reduced the risk of all cause mortality by 9 percent. Among 186 participants, 28 trials, even more than 75 years of age. Therefore, the available evidence says the trial indicate the statin therapy produced significant reduction in the major vascular event, event in perspective of it. Before slide says after the 75 years, there is a question mark. This says can be given. Same thing here, LDLC, small dense LDL particle may be more atherogenic than suspected by their concentration alone because they may be more readily oxidized and glycerin. Baseline LDLC is less than 100. Statin should be initiated on the basis of risk factor assessment and clinical judgment. Statin in primary prevention beside LDL, reduce platelet aggression, use thrombosis formation, pleiotropic attack, fibronetic profile, lower inflammation, and CRP. Statin significantly lower the incidence of CV outcome in diabetes. Composite outcome. Myocardial infarctions you are seeing with the red light stroke, stroke and all cause demarbity. Patients who are having 10 years of diabetes mellitus or 20 years of type 2 di 1 diabetes, more than 30 mg albumin, more, less than 60 mg of GFR, retinopathy, neuropathy, they get more advantage with the statin therapy. If CAC, which I told you, coronary calcium, they, more than 1 to 100 statin should be given. And what about things? Those patients who are low risk can have 160. Those patients who are high risk, LDL should be less than 40. Now regarding third, SGL2 inhibitor statins of the 21st century. And beyond the glucose control benefit, in recent years there has been a wealth of evidence indicating that SGL2 inhibitor exert cardiac and renal protective effect across the cardio-renal metabolic method. Last two days, we are hearing only the thing, diabetes is a cardio-metabolic quantum. The same way, SGLT has come in the big way. Diabetes prevention, reduce the HB1C, reduction of the blood pressure, weight loss, cardiac protection, reduction of mass, TB days, heart failure, renal protection, reduction of renal adverse outcome, albuminuria, 
ਕੀ ਹੈ ਫਾਰ ਵਰਸਨਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਸਟੇਜ ਕਿਡਨੀ ਡਿਸੀਜ਼ ਪੇਸ਼ੈਂਟਸ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਮੋਰ ਏਜ ਡਾਇਬੀਟੀਜ਼ ਹਾਈਪਰਟੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਆਲ ਕਾਜ਼ ਐਥਰੋਸਕਲੋਸਿਸ ਇਨਫਲਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਮਾਈਕਰੋਵੈਸਕੂਲਰ ਲੀਡ ਟੂ ਹਾਰਟ ਡਿਸੀਜ਼ ਕਾਰਡੀਓਮਾਇਪੈਥੀ ਅਰਿਥਮੀਆ ਐਂਡ ਕਿਡਨੀ ਡਿਸੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਅਲਟੀ ਐਸ ਜੀ ਐਲ ਇਨ ਬੇਟਰ ਦਾ ਪਲੈਟੀਨਮ ਫਾਰ ਆਲ ਥਿਸ ਵਾਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਐਸ ਜੀ ਐਲ ਟੀ ਇਨ ਬੇਟਰ ਯੂਰੋਕੋਇਸ ਯਾ ਯੂਰੀਕ ਐਸਿਡ ਬਿਕਮ ਲੈਸ ਲਾਈਕੋਸੂਰੀਆ ਇਨਕਰੀਜ਼ ਗਲੂਕੋਗਨ ਔਰ ਇਨਕਰੀਜ਼ ਕੈਟੋਨ ਇਨ ਰੈਜ਼ਿਸਟੈਂਸ ਰਿਡਿਊਸ ਨੇਚਰੋਸਿਡਿਕ ਦੇ ਕਾਜ਼ਸ ਰਿਡਿਊਸ ਦਾ ਬਲੱਡ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਰ ਆਰਟੀਲੀ ਸਟੈਪਨੈਸ ਐਂਡ ਪਲਾਜ਼ਮਾ ਵਾਲੂ in addition metabolic effect in glycosuria and reduction of hb1c glucotoxicity weight loss adiposity improve the cardiac remodeling cardiac continuity and iron homeostasis as well as reduction in inflammation and oxidative stress are also likely to contribute to observe the cardio renal effect what about the advantage cause lowering effect decrease risk of heart failure decrease the blood pressure all the stage of heart failure is our panchalia told whether it is a systole or a pressure rejection fraction or mid or even acute myocardial infarction decrease blood pressure diuretic effect renal production control of hyperuricemia weight loss disadvantage hypoglycemia ketosis urinary tract infections dehydration and sometime orthostatic hypotension business in what guidelines says fda level indications type 2 diabetes type 2 diabetes with cad mass hospital for heart failure reported one acute heart failure type 2 diabetes with ckd type 4 heart failure with reduced ejection fraction hgl new glp as combination reasons are beneficial in primary prevention in patients with multi organ adverse coronary a coronary and cv have cv effect events and heart failure in which without private cvd as you lower the odds of mass sgl2 and glp reduce the mass by 30% sgl2 lower the odds of incident of heart failure sgl2 and g reduce the odds of heart failure by 57% same thing recommend the first aid on may on to metformin therapy in atherosclerotic cvd in patients who are in atherosclerotic cvd then we can combine glp with sgat patients only having heart failure then the sgl2 is in patients what about acc guideline same guideline says acc guideline for primary prevention of cardiovascular setting in respect of a diabetes summary of sgl2 license indications doxorubicin kenaflaxis empiglofaxis tepaglaxis and today anup pusha told about Glucosamine. In summary, high prevalence of CVD risk among Indian present alarming public health concern. Aspirin treatment should be considered when the CV risk is very high. The bleeding risk is low. Statin therapy is achieved with reduced risk of all cause mortality and CVD event in adult at increased risk of CVD. SGL inhibitor causes reduction in mass heart failure and the recommended first aid on morphine atherosclerotic cvd setting what take home message high intensity statin statins was prevent 51% to 70% of the premature atherosclerotic cardiovascular event among the patients in between the age of 30 to 39 year when treated for 30 years useful in all cases of cva cad peripheral vascular disease but increase the incidence of muscle pain diabetes what about low dose aspirin might be considered for the primary prevention of cvd among select adult patients of 40 to 670% of age who are at high risk of atherosclerosis coronary but not an increased bleeding risk advantage keep oldest drug can be used in pregnancy and prevention of cancer also what about sgl2 inhibitor a beneficial effect across all stage of cardiorenate renal metabolic quantum reducing the mortality and morbidity in wide range of individual from those with diabetes and multiple risk factor to those with established heart failure and ckd regardless of the presence of diabetes my question to audience and my question to pancholia also 
all the three drugs we are using in combination in secondary prevention, can we use them in combination for the purpose of primary prevention like a polypill? Thank you very much.